This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research talking about world-class benchmarking for the company Japfra Comfeed, Indonesia. First, let's get a little bit of background. Japfra Comfeed, Indonesia is the second largest poultry feed producer in Indonesia with a 22% market share. The company is involved in all stages of chicken processing, ranging from farming to product distribution. It also has operations in beef and fish, including production of related food products for consumers and export. The company's ticker code is GPFA, JAPFA, and the market cap is about one, a little bit over one billion U.S. dollars, with a million dollars in average daily turnover. Let's see what's going on at the company. Japfa, the second largest feed and day old chicks producer in Indonesia, has five divisions, the biggest of which is chicken feed. It contributes 44% of total company revenue. The second division is broilers or processed chicken, which makes up 29% of sales. Day old chicks is 11%, and the remaining 16% comprises aquaculture, cattle and beef, and related trading. The integrated poultry business, although altogether, accounts for 85% of the company's total sales. Chicken feed contributes over 90% of overall operating profit. Japfa's need to continue growing its day-old chicks business, however, as farmers t- will usually buy chicken feed from their suppliers. So it's a closed loop and highly profitable. Day-old chick suppliers are licensed and controlled by the Indonesian government. The fish and cattle divisions are devoted to farming and processing related to related products for consumer use. The KKR, a global investment firm with 130 billion US dollars of assets under management and deep agricultural ex- expertise in Asia has acquired 12% shares of Japfa in second quarter 2016 and should provide fresh and effective solutions to Japfa in the future. Let's look at the revenue breakdown as of 9 months 2016. Animal feed 44%, broiler is 29, day old chicks 11%, aquaculture 7, cattle and beef and others 9%. Now let's look at the company's world class benchmarking score. First, we want to look at the leadership of the company and we start with the president commissioner or oftentimes called chairman outside of Indonesia. And here we have the chairman since 2010 to the present is, is Mr. Siam, Siam Sir Surigar. And the CEO is Handojo Santosa, who's been there since 1997, right at the time of the Asian economic crisis to the present. Uh, let's look at the score. And what we can see is that profitable growth increased to number one from seven. So well done. It ranks among the best 59 of 590 large consumer staple companies worldwide. How do they do that? Well, profitability is now world class and growth has improved to world class as well. So both engines of profitable growth are firing. First, asset utilization stayed about the same, but there's been a massive improvement in profit margin. Sales growth was driven was at three, number three, which is a very good rank, and margin change was at a number one relative to global peers. So a very good story there happening. Sign up for our free newsletter and get instant access to more investment knowledge at becomeabetterinvestor.net slash join, and I'll see you there.